Hello ladies, welcome to your day two New Year New You challenge. I wanted to go over today um, one of the most important foundations of fascia blasting is getting to know your myofascial lines, also known as anatomy trains. So getting to know these eight different stretches and eight different lines that run through our bodies and I'm gonna go over with you how he how each and every single one of them run through our bodies but being aware on how these trains run through your um, run through your body lets you become aware as you're making as you're doing these stretches where do you feel tightness where do you feel the lack of rotation where do, th where do you think you need most work so if you just jump into Ashley's book the cellulite myth if you go to chapter uh, 6 page 120 it goes through the eight different fascial lines it goes through your surface back line surface front line deep interior front line um, arm line front, arm line back, functional line, lateral line, and spiral line. So there are eight different fascia lines that I want you ladies to become aware of so you can become more, more, become more one with your body and how you feel as you're going through these stretches. So let's begin with the surface back line. So I wanted to make this very easy for everybody. So I want you to start in front of your yoga ball. I want you to stand with your legs parallel like train tracks, okay? And I wanted you to just kind of bend down and try to relax into that yoga ball. Don't force yourself. Um, just let, let, I want you to become aware and have a feel to where you feel the stretch, okay? So just kind of bend down from the waist. If it's easier for you maybe to, you're gonna have your legs shoulder width apart you go put your yoga ball right in front of your feet, arms on your waist, and just gently bend down. Let your arms fall right into your yoga ball. And the beautiful thing about this yoga ball is that it has a little gift to it, so it's not pushing you back. But you can just kind of let your weight drop into this ball, just like that, and relax your neck. Take a deep breath in. And out and just become aware what are you feeling do you feel anything in your neck do you feel anything in your mid back do you feel anything in your low back do you feel anything in your hamstrings area glutes how about your lower back do you feel anything in your lower back so we go through the glutes feel anything in your hamstrings how about behind the knee? How about behind your calves? How about around the Achilles tendon? Do you feel a stretch or anything there? A pull? Any tension anywhere? Just keep scanning. Let's keep scanning. How about in the plantar of your feet? So if you feel any tension along this line, that is giving us a clue that we have to work on that line. And if you feel you can go a little deeper, drop a little deeper into this yoga ball and just feel the stretch and become aware of your back line fascia. See if you need any work in this particular line. And just keep deep, deep, deep breath. And out. And that's how you stretch the first surface back line. All right, ladies, so let's stretch our second fascia line. So we're gonna practice stretching our surface front line. So we're gonna start seated in our yoga ball. We're gonna bring that red right leg back into a lunge position, and then we're gonna gently drop our knee, that right knee, okay? From here, you're gonna bring your arms up, and you're gonna bend your elbows, make sure your elbows are facing the sky. You're gonna hold your face just like this, like you're taking a pretty picture, and you're gonna stretch right into this fascia line, and you're gonna make a mental note on what 
you feel, if you feel any tension in your neck, in your chest, the sternum area here, your abdomen, how about those hips? Feel anything in those hips? So feel, become aware of any tension, tightness, and any pulling. Make sure you take a deep breath. Take a deep breath in. And stretch. And feel for any tension. And then we're gonna bring it back. And then we're gonna switch our legs. The yoga there, the yoga ball is there for to support you. To support you in that lunge. If it's too much for your hips, too much for your knees, it's there to support you and to stabilize you. All right, so we're gonna bring that left knee down. We're gonna bring our arms up, bend the elbows, pretty face, and stretch. And feel for any tension here. Make a mental note. When you're fascia blasting, these are the areas you want to target, are these areas of tightness and tension. Make sure you're breathing. And gently come out of that pose and go back to where you started back to your seated position. All right, ladies, so now we're going to test our third fascia line, the deep anterior fascia line. All right, so you're going to sit on your yoga ball and just gently let your body fall back, gently relax your neck, no tension, and let the yoga ball come a little lower into the hip area. And bring your arms straight above to the side and feel for any tightness here in your hips in your abdomen area neck feel for any tension here and just breathe in and out just like that and feel for any tension here. And then gently push yourself back up. Fascia line number four, our arm line front fascia. We're going to put our yoga ball right on our yoga mat, just like that. I'm gonna take a seat here, bring our arms right in front of us, parallel to our legs, just like this. And we're going to slight bend at the wrist we're gonna bring our, our arms back, just like this, a little past our shoulders here, just like this, and just scan your body to see if you feel any tension right here, along the arms, along the chest area. Scan your fingers, I know I feel it in my fingers right now, a little bit in my shoulder. So just scan for any tension, tightness, or pulling in this area. And then back to neutral, you can relax. If you wanna repeat that one more time, you can. Just like that. And don't forget to breathe. And then back. our fifth fascia line, arm line back. You're gonna position your yoga ball in front of you just like this. You're gonna get on your knees, just like this. And then you're gonna bring your right arm right across the yoga ball, just like that. Don't put any pressure, don't drop on your yoga ball like that. This is just for awareness only. We're not putting any pressure here on our arm or anything. And then you're gonna bring your left arm over and you're going to bend your wrist and you're gonna add a little pressure on this wrist, just like that, just to activate this chain right here. And scan, scan to see, feel any pulling, tightness, or any tension in this area. I actually feel really nice and relaxed in this position. I don't really feel any fullness, any pulling or tightness here. 
and then we're going to switch bring our left arm across just like that bend at the wrist bring the right arm over and add a little bit of pressure on that wrist and again scan the chain here for any tension pulling or any pain and then we get go back to neutral so we're going to stretch our functional fascia this is number six in Ashley's book so we're gonna come into a little bit of a split here bend your right leg make sure your hit your right heel is straight across from the left heel right here you're gonna do a slight bend bring your right arm up and a little bend in your wrist to activate the chain and just scan your body for any pulling tension or any pain in this area the stretch is perfect to bring awareness on what's going on in this fascial chain and we're going to switch so bring your foot to the front bring the left to the side and a slight bend bring your right arm drop it to your knee to your right knee bring your left arm up and a little bend on that left wrist and just a little slight little twist here and scan the body again for any tension pain or pulling and don't forget to breathe and come back to neutral back functional line you're gonna lay it on the floor just like this you can bring your right leg over across your left leg bring your arms up and into an angle to the right and scan your body for any tension here any tightness any pulling and then back to center bring your left over your right Ellie I just hit you over the head sorry about that <laughs> and you're gonna bring your arms across just like this and again scan your body for any tightness any tension or any pulling and then back to neutral is our lateral line fascia so you are going to bring your legs close together right here you're gonna point your right foot over to the left foot just like this you're gonna bring your yoga ball over your head and you're just gonna give it a slight bend. Do not force yourself here. Be very gentle, be gentle with your neck. Make sure your neck's nice and relaxed. Scan your body for any tension, any pulling, or any pain or sensations. And you're gonna go back to neutral. And now you're gonna do your other side. You're gonna do your left foot. Point your left foot over your right leg. Bring your yoga ball straight up again and a slight bend to the right. And relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Scan your body for any tension, any pain, or any pulling. Don't forget to breathe. And back to center. Release our spiral line fascia. You're gonna bring your feet shoulder width apart. Bring your arms horizontally, like you're a helicopter. And you're just gonna twist right across make sure your hips are squared away in front of you do not twist this way do not do that that's not what we're looking for you want to make that nice twist while your hips are straight if you want you can practice first doing that twist making sure you keep your hips straight and then incorporate your arms here scan your body for any pulling any tension any pain anywhere in your neck, shoulders, chest, hips, or in your legs. 
And then we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go the other way. Again, scan your body for any pain, pulling, tightness or tension. And then you're gonna bring back to neutral.